Hi, I'm David Dodge. Welcome to Green Energy Futures. This week, we're off to the beautiful campus of the University of British Columbia in Vancouver. We're there to look at what might be the greenest building in Canada. It's called the Centre for Interactive Research on Sustainability, or CIRRUS for short. It's like a living building full of cutting-edge green technologies. We're um, pursuing certification with uh, some of the most stringent uh, green building rating systems like LEED. So we're pursuing LEED Platinum certification and also Living Building Challenge certification. Um, but also the building itself um, has been planned to be a laboratory, a living laboratory for sustainability. So uh, that's something that makes us different from other green buildings out there is that the building itself, the process of planning it, designing it, building it and operating it is part of our research agenda. That's Alberto Caelo, our guide for our tour through this amazing building. While most people might have heard of LEED Platinum, it's the living building challenge that's the really interesting part. To qualify, buildings must be net zero with their energy, waste and water. A living building is essentially self-sufficient right on site. So yeah, the, the building um, is intended to demonstrate uh, the concept of regenerative sustainability. And we translate that into achieving net positive performance in seven aspects. Uh, energy, water, the structural carbon, operational carbon, and then three human aspects being uh, productivity, health, and happiness. The goal? a building that regenerates the environment around it. When you walk up to this attractive building, you're greeted by a glass-enclosed waste treatment center that looks part greenhouse and part laboratory. This building collects all of its own drinking water and gets its heat and electricity from multiple renewable sources. It's a revolutionary new way of thinking about buildings as much more than shelter. Treating your own water on site is one of the key parts of becoming a living building. Well, this is treating all the wastewater generated in the building, so grey water and black water. So it's all uh, turned into a water quality that can be used to flush toilets in the building and for irrigation purposes too. So it's what um, experts call reclaimed water, so it can be reclaimed for other uses. Not for portable uses though, that's where we use treated rainwater. The list of sustainable features goes on. The wood for the structural decking comes from pine beetle affected forests. The building is naturally ventilated. The storm water slowly filters back into the local aquifer. The auditorium has a green roof. And this green building has a symbiotic heat exchange relationship with the building next door. It's also an energy miser. We've uh, designed the building so that it um, requires less than 100 kilowatt hours per square meter per year, which is fantastic. Compare that to your typical office tower in Vancouver, which could be something in between 200 and 300 kilowatt hours, or maybe even more in some cases, kilowatt hours per square meter per year. That's a fantastic number. And that's not even taking the credit for the energy that we send back to, to the other buildings. So when we take credit for that, we're into negative territory. So we, we have a zero uh, footprint, if you will. While it's just a futuristic outlier on a university campus at this point, it will be interesting to follow the building technologies it pilots as they spread throughout the industry. To see photo galleries and to check our blog, head on down to greenenergyfutures.ca. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our Facebook page or send us a tweet or email. Thanks for watching. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.